Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I have a three DIY dad hat designs for you guys that I use when I am designing my own personalized hat. First of all, I have this embroidered hat that I am wearing. It is my personal favorite and it is not as hard as you think it is to make. Second, I have this wave emoji hat, which is also super cute, and I like the contrast of the blue and the black. And third of all, I have this hat that says, you're too close, because I personally like the saying a lot, and it's just very simple. So if you guys would like to see how I DIY my designs, then continue watching. With that being said, let's get started. For this one, you are going to need embroidery thread and a needle pair of scissors and stencils. You can print them out or draw them yourself like I did. This is the size I chose so I went ahead and cut that out and then I just traced it around my hat. I also went ahead and freehanded the inside because it was a little difficult to trace. Go ahead and piece your thread and needle together. You're going to need about two to three feet. It's better to have more than less. So starting from the top or wherever you choose really, you're just going to come in from the back and pull through. This is just like a normal stitching pattern. I think this is the split stitch where you come in from the back and you find the middle of the thread and then come back so there's no spacing in between. I This is my first time embroidering so I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm just going with the flow, making sure there's no spacings in between. Halfway through, this is what it looked like. So once you're done, you're going to go into the inside seams, you're going to stitch a loop, and then you're just going to um, pull your needle in through the loop and finish the product by tying a knot. I don't know what this step is called. If you do, comment below, please. <laughs> that the black is done we are on to the white and this is the exact same process the exact same stitching we're just going to fill in the outline or the tracings with the white okay pause this is so cute i was so tempted to just leave it simplified like this but I had a vision and this wasn't my vision, so I kept going. And I told myself I could always come back and make another one, so I spent like another three hours stitching this. Guys, it takes so long. Please, like, you gotta have the patience for this. Look at this. It took so long the sun went down. The color is different. Anyway, I'm just repeating the same steps with the blue thread and it's coming together quite nicely. And this is how it turned out. I'm honestly so proud of myself because, like I said, this is my first time embroidering and it's actually so easy, just time consuming. Anyway, this wave represents Santa Barbara where I was born. For this next one, you're going to need iron-on paper. You're going to go online and select a few images and then just print them out. I don't own these, but I will link the artist down below. So I chose to go with the wave emoji and make sure with iron-on transfer papers you remove the backing because there is a backing and if you don't remove it then it won't do you any good. Anyway, just lay the hat flat down and you're just going to get a nice surface so that you can iron it on straight and you're going to put parchment paper on top. Sometimes the pack comes with it. If not, you can just use parchment paper from your kitchen or something and you're just going to iron on the iron-on. And here is the finished product with the wave emoji. I think it looks pretty cute. And last but not least, the easiest one. All you need is fabric paint or puff paint. And you're going to turn it upside down so that the paint rushes to the top so you get a better fill-in. And you're just going to write on your words. I recommend that you trace or outline your words first so that they're centered. But I just kind of eyeballed it because I've done this with shirts before. So I have somewhat of experience. Now I chose this quote because personally I like my space and it's kind of sassy and I'm kind of sassy. But you can choose whatever you want. And you are done. Here are the designs that I DIY'd. And yes, the second hat is another one that I did off camera. But these are so cute and they're so easy. And who doesn't love dad hats? And there you go, guys. Three simple DIY dad hat designs. I hope you guys liked them, enjoyed them. Remember that preference is all based on you and your liking. So go ahead and have fun with these because these are so 
fun and addicting to make and collect and just show off because they're honestly good for any season. So if you like what you saw, instead of putting a ring on it, please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I would love for you to join the friendship family and let me know what you guys think about dad hats and these designs. Let me know if you are going to attempt this DIY. They're so cute and I will see you guys whenever I post next. Bye!